morning. Good morning. How are you today? Welcome to the second English class. Bienvenidos a la segunda clase de inglés. Ok, student. Ok, well, student. Today, student, we are going to learn about the simple present affirmative statement. Ok, the last week, student, we also learned about the simple present affirmative statement, but in that moment, we learned using the subject I, you, they, and we, that this subject are not the self person, ¿ok? La semana pasada aprendimos también acerca del presente simple, ¿ok? En afirmativo, en oraciones afirmativas, pero aprendimos a hacer oraciones usando como sujeto a, a los sujetos que no son tercera persona. What are they? ¿Cuáles son? What are they? ¿Cuáles son? I, you, they, and we. Right? Son cuatro. ¿Ok, student? Well, back today, in this case, student, we are going to learn how to make sentences in simple present but using the subject she, he, and it. ¿Ok, student? As you know, student, they are the third person. Como ustedes saben, chicos, she, he, and it son la tercera persona. Son. Ok. It's important, student, to know that when you have to create a sentence with the third person, it's necessary to know some roles. For example, in the first part, in number one, we have one role. Pay attention. In this part, said, add S to the bear. For example, student, if you have a sentence, a sentence with the third person, you have to add to the verb of this sentence the letter S. Okay? For example, pay, a, pay attention here. In this part, in the first example, we have she gets up, she get up early on Monday. This Example is incorrect. Why? Because if you notice, student, pay attention in the verb. Bueno, chicos, esta oración está incorrecta. ¿Por qué? Si tú notas el verbo, no se le ha agregado una S. ¿Ok? So, in our role set that you have to add the letter S to the verb. So, she is the third person, right? She is la tercera persona. For that reason, you have to add to the verb the letter S. She gets up early on Monday. Ella se levanta temprano los domingos. ¿Ok? Well, student. In the second example, my dog. My dog. Is the third person. Why? Because my dog replaces a it. Right? En el segundo ejemplo tenemos como sujeto a my dog. Right? My dog reemplaza al sujeto it. It is the third person. It es la tercera persona. Por lo tanto, look at the bear. The bear is correct. No, right? You have to add the letter S. ¿Ok, student? So, the sentence say, My dog sleeps in the afternoon. ¿Ok? One more time. My dog sleeps in the afternoon. Repeat after me. My dog sleeps in the afternoon. One more time. My dog sleeps in the afternoon. Ok, student. Well, we pass to the second role. Pasamos al segun, a la segunda regla. Ok. For example, in the second role, say, add S to the verb that ends in the letter O, H, or X. Ok. For example, student, if you have a sentence, 
with the third person, okay? What do you have to do in the verb? For example, if the verb ends in the letter O or H or E, you have to add the letter ES, okay? Bueno, chicos, cuando ustedes tengan una oración con el sujeto she, he, or it, que son la tercera persona, ¿qué vas a hacer al verbo? Si terminó en una O o en una H o en una X, lo que vas a hacer es agregarle la S, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, pay attention. Peter watch TV every day. If you notice, the verb is incorrect, ¿verdad? Si tú notas, el verbo está incorrecto. Why? Because Peter is the third person. Peter replaces a he. So, if he is the third person, so what do you have to do in the verb? You have to add the letter S? No, right? Why? A ver, chicos. Tenemos a Peter. Peter reemplaza al sujeto he. Por lo tanto, ¿el verbo estará correcto? No. ¿Por qué? Porque se le tiene que agregar algo. ¿Será la letra S? No. ¿Por qué no? Porque dice mi regla que si el verbo termina en una O, en una H o en una X, vas a agregarle la letra S. ¿Ok? Now. Pay attention. Peter watches TV every day. Pedro mira televisión todos los días. Every day. Ok. Well, now, we pass number two. In number two, student, say, Rita do her homework at two o'clock. Rita is the third person. Rita replaces a she. So, what happened here, student? Look at this verb. The verb ends in the letter O. So, you have to add the letter ES. ¿Ok? Claro. Tenemos a Rita. Rita es la tercera persona. Por lo tanto, tienes que fijarte el verbo. Si el verbo terminó en una O, ¿qué deberás añadir? La letra S. ¿Ok? Rita does her homework at two o'clock. ¿Qué quiere decir? Rita hace su tarea a las 12. Number three. In number three, we have the name George. George is the third person, right? George replay the subject he. So, what do you have to do in this part? In this verb, you have to add the letter ES. Why? Because this verb in In the letter O. ¿Ok? Lo mismo pasó aquí, chicos. Miren, George es la tercera persona. ¿Por qué? Porque George reemplaza a he. ¿Y qué pasó aquí? Tenemos al verbo go. Go terminó en, un, en la letra O. Por lo tanto, se le debe agregar la letra S según mi regla. ¿Ok? George goes to school late. George Goes to school late. Ok. George va al colegio tarde. Ok, student. Well, now repeat after me. Peter watches TV every day. Number two. Rita does her homework at two o'clock. Number three. George goes to school late. Ok, student, that's all for today. Thank you very much. Bueno, chicos, eso es todo por hoy. Muchísimas gracias. Goodbye, have a nice day. Adiós, tengan un bonito día.